Hi everyone at Channel News 8. My name is Mary Osborne and today I'm going to talk with you about the coral trout and the stripy snapper and how marine protected areas are helping them thrive as well as supporting a sustainable fishery. So in these marine protected areas the coral trout and the stripy snapper are given the opportunity to grow in both size and number without the pressure of fishing. So why does this matter? Well, when these fish go to reproduce, their eggs are dispersed via water current from the protected areas into the non-protected areas. So if you look at this illustration, you can see that these fish that are in the protected areas reproduce and these eggs are dispersed via water current from the protected areas into the non-protected areas. Why does this help? Well, when they are dispersed into the non-protected areas, they are released and support the, the populations in the non-protected area to grow in both size and number as well. How do we know this to be true? Well, a study done found that the marine protected areas were producing approximately half of all of the new juvenile fishes. Basically, the third of the waters that are protected were producing half of all of the new juvenile fishes. This seems pretty significant to me because it is helping the fish as a whole survive and grow and help support a sustainable fishery. So basically, marine protected areas help both the coral trout and the stripy snapper in growing in size and number, and then in turn, help the sustainable fishery. Well, thanks for listening, and I hope you have a great day.